Whoo! Last video for at least right now. Let's get it, man. Yeah. What up, Game of the Squad? It's your boy, you theory, it's the realistic, coolest, the chillest young king. Only two clever men to be speak. While I'm doing my intro, hush, hush. Welcome back for another lit banger, gang. We got August the Duck in the building, man. Um, let me subscribe to him because I be missing his updates. Let me see. This is what y'all should be doing to me. Turn on all post notifications so y'all can be aware of when I post. Because I post like three or four videos a day. So be, stay up with me, gang. But anyway, we got there's a, there's a newest, worst apology. Shh, just sign my line. All right, sorry about that, gang. But um, yeah, the news worst policy video on YouTube. So I guess Neon is apologizing about talking about um, homie's brother or whatever, and um, move, 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 move. And so he's gonna explain it. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. If you're new, subscribe, like the video, comment some more bangers you want me to check out. Let's go ahead and jump right into this one. And I'm not gonna um, make anything bad like that happen sorry. ever again. I'm not gonna do anything like that sorry. ever again. And I'm going to uh, go on the right path as a person and become a better man. Well, guys, I'm getting fed up. This new age of content creators are ruining the things I love on this website and really the things I love on the internet in general, and I won't stand for it. Back in the golden days of YouTube, we would get one bad apology video maybe once a year. Sometimes it'd be like every 18 months. It wasn't a guarantee that we would get one every calendar year, but it was a pretty safe bet. This made them special. However, these days, it seems like every three weeks, some big content creator is putting out a video that takes the cake. I'm going to have I'm gonna have to make me an apology video because that's what be getting views and shit as the new worst apology video on YouTube. It's like the most unstable job ever. These videos Ooh. are constantly being churned out. And that's autumn. That's autumn. The, the corn store. That's autumn. Autumn falls, bro. And there's always a new worst one to make all of its predecessors look like an actual halfway decent apology. And today we're going to be talking about this month's entry. Now if you don't know who Neon is, well then maybe you should just go ahead and sit this one out. Like seriously, click off while you still can. There's nothing positive that's going to come into your life from finding out who this guy is. I'm not even joking. Okay, seriously. He hung out with Punch Made Dev. Do yourself a favor. But if for some reason you hate yourself and you want to stick around, well, then Neon is a streamer who, to me, has recently kind of blown up out of nowhere. Maybe I'm just out of the loop. I don't really watch streamers. But my experience with this guy was that I had literally never heard of him ever in any context or any situation. And then basically overnight, he was getting mentioned alongside the biggest streaming names on the internet. Like, seriously, this guy seemed to have come out of nowhere. What happened? How can we reverse it? To put it short, this guy is basically a worse Jack Doherty. His content is basically just going around bro if they can first of all game compared to jack doherty is crazy but being the worst jack doherty is even crazy around being a nuisance starting arguments manufacturing drama just trying to get conflict on camera for his streams don't know why that's such a popular form of streaming these days but i'm really hoping it passes pretty soon but right now we've got to deal with it and my god conflict on camera neon has managed to capture after doing a little bit of digging on this guy it seems like the Ahora puedes cambiarte a Spectrum Mobile ilimitado por solo 15 dólares cada línea. Con Spectrum Mobile like nos vamos a ahorrar más de mil. Seems like there's no level of depravity that he's not willing to stoop to for internet content. The man made like a four-part series a few years ago faking his own death. Like he really went all crazy. in on it. So the stuff he does crazy. these days, like going around... Mm -hmm. I bet money he never even knocked boots with her, but she's stupid bad. Making fun of children for their parents working at Walmart is really not all that surprising. But I feel like even when you know a content creator is not a good person, you still expect them to have this sort of sense of self-preservation. Like when you have this kind of following, you know the kind of stuff that you can't say even if you might want to say it. Because you can't just fully out yourself as the worst person alive. With this kind of content, you've got to walk a line between being a terrible person, but still not being too terrible that 13-year-olds like you. Need Neon uh, did not do that. And it's gotten him in some hot water. Five days ago, Neon decided to go on stream and do something a little bit silly. And when I say a little bit silly, I mean criminal. For some reason, Neon decided to bring this kid onto his stream. He was talking to him in a Discord call. I'm going to play the clip. Uh, there's going to be a whole lot of censoring. Is this where okay. he said he bought the... Dude, okay, don't worry, we'll I go through it at the end. Like but I'm a little bit worried on what YouTube might do for this clip being in my videos, so uh, I'm taking the proper precautions. Amen. I tried to be nice to you, bro. What the f 
up. I'll be shit out of you and your fat girlfriend, bro. What the? F that fat. S I'll smack her in her face too. And oh god, I'm about to dox your entire family. What's your name? You're not doing it. Shut the up. Suck my. Are you a? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Kizzy, bro. My name's Kizzy. It says what's your, it in my what's your name. First name? Bro. All I need is your first name. You're done. I don't care. You're I'm an internet warrior. What's your name? Bro? What's your, what's your first name? Bitch. What's your first name? Bitch. What's your first name? Bitch. I'll give you Miami. I don't fuck you. Ten years old. I will fuck you. Please, please, please. I swear to God. Fuck up. Okay, so if you couldn't catch no. any of that, don't worry. We're gonna do a play-by-play -play here. So I wasn't really able to find the context of what was happening before all of this started. Based off of the really high intellect discussion that's going on here, though, I don't think it really matters. You know, I don't think it was gonna add a whole lot to this discussion, if I'm being honest. So if you didn't really catch the end of this video, your first thought might be, okay, well, this kid should probably not be talking to people like this on the internet. And yeah, you're right, okay? Not gonna really argue with you there. This kid's being a little shit. But when you're young and you look shit. up to people like Neon and you think the best way to get famous is to attack and harass people, well, not really that surprising that stuff like this happens. So sure, this kid's being a little But that type of shit happens all the time because a lot of the big streamers and the big uh, YouTubers, they all started off doing that. Trolling. So that's what kids think they has to do to get, to get off of that. But to what point? Like, when you get big, you should want to have it last you know what i'm saying you should want to you want a talent to where people come and watch you for your talents if you just a troller you can only go so far with that without going to jail getting beat up or getting unalive you feel me so at what point do you realize okay this is something that is going to get me big but can i keep going with it you feel me stinker but he's a kid neon is an adult and what he says at the end which you might have not caught because i had to cut so much out and they're just screaming over each other is absolutely disgusting i don't know how to word this to where i don't just instantly get banned on youtube but uh basically after threatening to dox this kid and his entire family he says that he's going to assault this kid in a certain manner until a certain part of his body bleeds are we all on the same page hopefully so obviously and rightfully this shout out autumn falls man if y'all know who autumn falls is comment right now oh my god did not go down very well with the internet you've got a huge influential streamer who's an adult making threats like this to a kid neon was dogpiled on twitter and by basically anybody with a brain and it actually led to him getting banned on kick which is what led Neon to make his apology video. Yeah, don't for one second believe that this guy is sorry for anything that he's done. He has literally wished death upon people in the past. He was banned on Kig because this was too bad of a look for them not to, and they probably told him you have to make an apology video before we unban you. Which, by the way, after this apology video dropped, he was unbanned. What a surprise. So now... Are you serious? If it was Twitch, he would be permanently banned. Now, after five minutes of yapping, it was important yapping though, I think. You need to know the context for this. It's finally time to watch this award-winning apology. What's going on, guys? Um, I wanted to um, sit here and genuinely talk to you guys about what's been going on these past few days and um, really recap and apologize for everything that I've done and the mistakes I've made. As a person, you know, in my career, I've made a lot of mistakes and I've made a lot of, um, you know, bad decisions. Neon, buddy. I think that might honestly be the biggest understatement ever made by a human. You've made some mistakes. Bye. That's what you're deciding to classify them as? Building your online business? You're doing stupid sh And set up your store on a as mistakes i mean i guess he's right faking your death for like a week straight is a pretty easy mistake to make happens all the time to me but um, that was by far one of my worst things i've ever said or done and i want to sincerely apologize for what i said that was not something that comes out of a person like me's mouth ever what neon what do you mean are you claiming you were bro you just got pressed by uh dd osama before talking about his unalive brother possessed or something was that a body clone is somebody impersonating you what do you mean something like that doesn't come out of somebody like you you're the one who said it it clearly does this is not even an apology yeah guys that thing i said the thing that there's video evidence of me saying it that's not me you guys know me i don't know what happened i don't even run i don't know like what i was that. thinking um i let a, a kid get in my head and when he talked crazy to me i just i blacked out and i didn't realize what i was doing and i want to sincerely apologize neon dude if a little ass kid can make you go to that point, bro, 
week. Just, just take accountability here. Stop trying to make excuses. You blacked out from a 12 year old calling your girlfriend fat? How do you say that with a straight face? That's the most hilarious thing I've ever heard. Officer, look, you don't understand. He <laughs> said that I couldn't crank 90s like a true OG, so I had to kill him. I blacked out. I'm sorry. I saw red. This is ridiculous. I'm not that type of guy. I'm not that type of person. And um, I understand why I got banned and I understand the reasoning for it and everything. And I know everyone's happy and stuff, but um, I want to say I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm really, really sorry. And I want to shout out to um, Kick for giving me another chance and, and um, you know, always being there for me. I really appreciate you guys and all the loyals, everyone that slid for me and said all these things about me. Wow, what a guy. This is who everybody... If anybody ever cut for him or, like, tried to, you know, put in a good word for him is just as stupid and... and, and delusional as he should strive to be in his apology video for attacking a child he gives a shout out to all the people who defended him for attacking a 10 year old neon you're a real class act <laughs> and try to um make the band less and everything i really appreciate you guys i really do and i wanted to um say this was an eye opener for me in my in my eyes that's your forehead buddy um and i'm not gonna um make anything bro i love august this august the duck bro this dude is august the, yeah august the duck Shout out to him. He's hilarious. Bad like that happened ever again. I'm not going to do anything like that ever again. And I'm going to um, go on the right path as a person and become a better man. That's what child predators say every all the time. Especially when they get caught. I'm not going to do it again. I'm not going to ever hit up no, you know, no cupcakes. We we'll call them cupcakes. Whatever, but he's going to do it again. Mark my words. Yeah, so a super solid apology here. Doesn't even really address what he's apologizing for. Just says he's not gonna make anything bad happen again. Doesn't even address why people might be mad at him for saying something like this, or explaining why he understands why he shouldn't have said it. No, this is very obviously the result of an email from a kick higher up saying, hey man, make a one minute long apology so we don't look like total idiots unbanning you. Didn't really work though. So after subjecting myself to this nonsense, I wanted to see what Neon was up to since uploading this video. And as most recent upload is a video titled Neon Gets Pressed by Didi Osama. Now, if you don't know who Didi Osama is, he's a young rapper out of New York, and a while back, Neon made fun of his dead brother, which this far into the video should not be a surprise. Now, we're not going to be watching too much of this, but I did want to show this because, guys, I think this might be the funniest video on YouTube. Apparently, Neon wanted to squash this beef. I reacted to this already. Go check it out on the channel. So he decided to meet up with Didi Osama in person. And the fact that Neon has not deleted every single piece of social media he has after uploading this video is kind of insane to me. And the fact that he even uploaded this video to begin with is even crazier. I want to I wanna sincerely apologize, bro. Yo, look. That's oh. all it was. That's all yeah. it is, bro. Nah. I ain't gonna front. Look. Yeah, no, I'm actually scared. Nah, you don't need to bro, be scared, All bro. I'm gonna tell you, baby boy, is that let them talk. Yo, baby yeah, boy. Yeah. yeah. Bro, they's good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yo, I don't yo, yo. want. You could just tell that he wanted to smack the gl his glasses off. I I would have wanted to too, bro. I probably would have. Better than me. Nobody listen, like, yo, listen, okay, okay. Listen, we're good. Listen, yeah. All right, my bad. Listen, uh -huh. respect you, I know he mean, yeah. bro. Yeah. I I know. I want to. Listen, listen. I just want to tell you this, baby boy. Like, you like. You don't know where I come from. Like yeah. you, you not from the streets, baby boy. Like mm -hmm. you, you's really like you's really a nerd, baby boy. You's oh. really a nerd, baby boy. Okay, so look, I don't really plan on finding myself in a situation similar to this anytime soon. But if I did, I don't think the term "baby boy" is what I would use in addressing someone I'm trying to intimidate. But after, bro, first of all, August the Duck. Now I fuck with you all the way up until now. Baby boy is a slang. It's a it's slang. You know what slang is? I know you're probably slang. This dude, look, Didi Osama's from New York. They have different slang. Just like how back in the 90s, um, they used to call each other like Lil Daddy. Today, that shit's weird as hell. Lil Daddy, what the hell? But that was, that was the slang back then. It's slang. And Didi Osama ain't trying to be hard. He just trying to have a conversation. After watching this video, I don't think there's a single better thing he could have called this guy. Having a guy two years younger than you who's not even a legal adult call you- Bro, I swear I thought Didi Osama was like 21. They said he died 17, 18. 
He ain't he a baby. You baby boy, while you nod and agree, is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Neon is the definition of a keyboard internet warrior. This is really what the entire video is, though. Didi Osama will say one thing, Neon will profusely apologize for it and look around nervously. <laughs> and it's kind of just that over and over profusely. again for like 10 minutes. And then they go to some sort of diner, it looks like. He has to apologize to a lot of other people. At one point, Neon starts getting treated like an actual child, like Didi Osama is patting his head and stuff it gets kind of weird like bro he made him apologize to his whole family talking about grandma cousins second cousins everybody. i said i don't know why neon would upload this i don't really understand this bro neon is so thirsty because he don't have no he i ain't gonna say he's not talented because obviously he's talented if he got where he's at but he needs this type of shit to telling him he don't care what it makes him look like it's putting money in his pocket guy's persona it's like everything i've seen of him has either been him being the most obnoxious aggressive person imaginable or stuff like this i feel like you've got to pick one because these two sides don't really coincide well guys what do you think what are your thoughts on this whole apology situation are you buying into it do you really think that neon is trying to be a better man i think that this is nothing but a little pr campaign to try and get his streaming career back on track not that i think any of his fans actually care about what he says i just think that kick is trying to clean up their image a little bit recently recently. Do I see that working? No, not really. But I think that's all this is. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe. Mm -hmm. Is that it? He said my life depends on it. If YouTuber fakes beheading. We might have to check that out. We might have to check that out. I might have to look into that. When did he post that? Let's see. I'm sorry, my Wi-Fi is ass. So my my shit go a little slow. Oh, uh, he posted it. We might we might check it out. We might check it out. But anyway, gang, if y'all new, subscribe, like the video, comment some more bangers, show me a check out. Till next time, your boys out. What do you got to say, Chili? You have a new house? Oh, you feel better? Nene was sick at school yesterday. I, I, I throw up. You throw up? You feel better? No. No? Yes, she does. All right, guys. We gone, man.